Let's take a question on equivalent resistance. We are given a circuit here. All the branches of these wires have equal resistance R, that is 5 ohm. Then what is the equivalent resistance between points A and B? So the circuit seems a bit complex. We don't know whether the resistors are connected in series or in parallel. So how do we go about solving it? We first simplify the circuit and redraw it such that at the end, it's a combination of series and parallel resistors. So we start about by looking at the circuit from the top. Its top view comes pretty much like this. We have this point A connected to point B through a resistor. The branch AE represented by a resistor. Similarly, all the other branches can be redrawn in this fashion. Now, note that all these points of intersection of the wires are called nodes. Now, what is a node? It's a point where the accumulation of current is zero. That is, let's say if current flows from the point D to A, then it splits from A to E and A to B such that the total current in this junction is zero. Now, this is another way of telling that at this node, the current is zero, which is simply the statement of Kirchhoff's law. Now, this circuit is a bit simpler than this. We again simplify the circuit by redrawing it as, now look at this node. This node A is connected to both the nodes E and D. It's also connected to the node B. So we draw it here. Now B is connected to both nodes C and F. And all these nodes are connected to each other. That is, E is connected to F, E is connected to D, C is connected to D, and C in turn is connected to F. Okay. Now, what we have achieved here is that now the circuit is a bit simpler than the previous one. Now, look carefully at this part of the circuit. We see that since all the resistors are of equal value, the product of these two resistors equals the product of these two resistors. Now, it satisfies the Wheatstone bridge condition. So what's the Wheatstone bridge condition? It states that if four resistors are connected in such a manner that the product of the resistors in two branches equals the product of the resistors in the opposite two branches, then the current flowing through the connection between the wires or the branches is said to be zero. That is, no current flows to this junction. So we can simply neglect this resistor. Similarly, this branch also forms a Wheatstone bridge condition. So we can neglect this resistance. So at the end, this simplifies to these three resistors in series, so we can just simply add them up to get the equivalent resistance of a single branch. So here it is. We have three resistors connected in series with parallel connection to another three resistors in series in parallel with a single resistor. Now, these are connected in series, so their addition will give the equivalent resistance of this branch, which comes out to be 15 ohm as each of these resistors are 5 ohm each. Similarly, in this branch, we have 15 ohm, and this is 5 ohm. Now notice that since these are in parallel, so the equivalent resistance, let's say, it's R equivalent between points A and B, comes out to be 1 over R equivalent is equals to 1 over 15 plus 1 over 15 plus 1 over 5, which is equal to 1 over 3. Therefore, R equivalent is equals to 3 ohm. So that's how we solve this complex circuit into a much simpler one by simplifying it further and further and getting a combination of series and parallel resistors.